Struggling to make the most of your tiny spaces? How do you declutter when every inch counts? In this video, you'll learn unique strategies for decluttering small spaces, making your home feel more organized and spacious. Decluttering can be a daunting task, especially when you're working with limited square footage. But don't worry, with the right mindset and techniques, you can create a clutter-free space that feels peaceful and functional. When decluttering a small space, it's essential to be ruthless. If you don't use it, love it, or need it, it's probably taking up valuable space that could be better utilized. Remember, the goal is to create a space that feels peaceful, not one that's bursting at the seams. Small spaces also require a great deal of intentionality. You can't just throw things into a closet or cabinet and hope they magically disappear. You need to think carefully about what you're keeping, how you're storing it, and how you can make the most of every inch. In small spaces, it's crucial to prioritize functionality over aesthetics. While it's nice to have a beautiful piece of furniture, it's not worth it if it's not serving a purpose. Look for items that serve multiple functions, like an ottoman that doubles as storage, or a desk with built-in shelves. Furniture can also make or break a small space. Choose pieces that are proportional to the room and don't overcrowd the area. Consider using wall-mounted shelves or hooks to keep items off the floor and create the illusion of more space. Small spaces often lack clear boundaries, which can make it difficult to distinguish between different areas of the room. Use rugs, curtains, or other dividers to create separate zones and define different spaces within the room. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you like this video, and it helps me to continue creating videos like this. Thank you. When decluttering a small space, it's not just about getting rid of physical items, it's also about creating a sense of freedom and peace. Clutter can weigh us down emotionally and make us feel trapped. By letting go of the things that no longer serve us, we can create a space that feels uplifting and empowering. We'll discuss practical tips like utilizing vertical space, choosing multifunctional furniture, and implementing the one-in-one-out rule to help you streamline possessions. One of the most effective ways to declutter a small space is to make the most of your vertical space. Install shelves, hooks, or storage units that go up to the ceiling to maximize your storage capacity. This will help keep items off the floor and create a sense of openness. You can also use baskets, bins, or containers to store items like linens, cleaning supplies, or decorative items. Multifunctional furniture is another game changer for small spaces. Look for items that serve multiple purposes, like a storage ottoman that doubles as a coffee table, or a Murphy bed that folds up against the wall. The one-in, one-out rule is also essential for maintaining a clutter-free space. For every new item you bring into your home, get rid of an old one to maintain a sense of balance. This will help prevent clutter from building up in the future. When decluttering a small space, it's essential to focus on the essentials. What are the things that bring you joy, make your life easier, or serve a purpose? These are the items you should prioritize and keep. The turning point comes when you realize that letting go of items brings a sense of freedom and makes your space more enjoyable. It's not about getting rid of everything, but about creating a space that feels peaceful, functional, and tailored to your needs. Letting go of clutter is not only liberating, it also helps you develop a greater sense of intentionality. You'll start to think more carefully about what you bring into your space and how you use it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to help push this video to more people out there with tiny spaces who might need it for decluttering motivation. Also, it helps show your support for this channel. Thank you. One of the biggest hurdles people face when decluttering small spaces is the temptation to hold on to everything. We often feel like we need to keep certain items just in case or because they hold sentimental value. But the truth is, holding on to too much can make your space feel cramped, cluttered, and overwhelming. As you begin to declutter your small space, remember that it's not about achieving perfection. It's about creating a space that works for you. Don't be too hard on yourself if you encounter setbacks or struggle to part with certain items. To wrap up, we've explored how to effectively declutter small spaces, emphasizing the importance of intentionality with your belongings. By implementing these strategies, you can create a space that feels peaceful, functional, and tailored to your needs. Remember, decluttering is a journey, and it's okay to take it one step at a time. Start with small areas, focus on what's essential, and don't be afraid to let go of items that no longer serve you. If you found these tips helpful, 
check out my other video on organizing techniques, or share your own decluttering tips in the comments below.